In this section, we're going to cover logical conditions within uh, MATLAB. And if you go to the Chemi 263 webpage, apmonitor.com slash Chemi, CHE 263. And then on the right, uh, go down to MATLAB. And we'll go down to the conditionals uh, link there. And this teaches about uh, conditionals within MATLAB. So we have less than, less than or equal to, um, you know, these different operators that allow us to test uh, whether numbers are um, equal to, less than, greater than, or not equal to, for example. And then you also have certain functions such as and or exclusive or not and others. They can use, be used to combine, select, and reverse these outcomes of the conditional statements. Okay, so um, let's just create a, um, a simple number guessing game within MATLAB. So I'm going to go ahead and open up MATLAB. And uh, while MATLAB is opening, let me go ahead and just create a new um, script here. Okay, so this is uh, my, um, let me rename this as, um, okay, before I open it, let me go ahead and rename it as just my guessing game. Okay, um, rename and my guessing uh, game. Okay, so, and then just change your extension. Um, instead of .txt, we're going to go ahead and go with .m. Okay, so that's going to be my guessing game. And then if we open this up, then uh, it's going to give us a new editor here. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is clear all. Uh, so I'm going to clear all of the uh, variables that might have been there previously. Um, and then uh, I want to come up with a new, um, so I'll just go ahead and come up with the answer. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a random uh, integer value and up to a value of 100. Okay, so there's my answer, um, up to a value of 100. And then uh, the next thing I want to do is um, I'm going to create a while loop. So while uh, not correct, um, then I'm going to continue to uh, iterate on this and give more guesses. Okay, so um, what I want to do now is, is initialize the value of correct uh, to be false. Okay, so I could do either um, or true. Okay, so you can do true or false. Those are uh, booleans. So it's also going to give it, um, you know, it, it could be stored as like a zero or a one as well. Okay, but I'm going to say while it's not correct, then I'm going to request an input um, and this is going to be my uh, guess is going to be equal to input and then I'm going to prompt for uh, guess a, uh, a number. Okay, so that's going to uh, input um, a number once the person guesses and then we're going to do some comparisons after that. Okay, so um, what we're going to do first of all is just say if um, my guess um, is equal to, you got to do the double equal sign, uh, the uh, answer, um, then we're going to say that correct equals true. And then it's going to, next time it goes through this loop, then it is going to stop, okay? And uh, I'll say that uh, I'll display um, correct, okay? Um, but else, if it's not correct, then uh, we need to test um, if it's too low or too high. So I could do else and then display uh, not correct, um, but that number guessing game might take a while, okay, if you don't give them some more information, like it's too high or too low. So what I'll do then is um, do another, I could do an if statement in here or I could do an else if and then an else for the final condition. Okay, so else if um, and then let me do another test here. My guess is less than answer. Um, then I'm going to put something here to display that uh, it is too low. Okay, um, try again. Okay, and uh, then they can they can try again. 
Okay, and then I could say also um, to high, uh, try again as well for the else. Okay, so that's going to be too high or too low. And then uh, I'll have the end. Okay, so this is just a basic uh, number guessing game. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to change folder and then I'll guess a number. Um, let me just say it's uh, 70 and it says too low, try again. Uh, let me do 85, uh, too high. Um, you know, uh, 80, too low, 83, uh, too high. Um, okay, so it was 82. Now I could have seen that uh, from the left because it was in my workspace, but you can see that um, this, uh, this guessing game works. We use a couple logical uh, conditions. Um, you could put some things in there like you have a certain number of guesses left. For example, you can enhance some of this code. But this is just a basic tutorial that shows uh, some of the basic uh, logical conditions and uh, conditional statements.